Doctor, are Thanks. you on Big Soda's payroll or something? What's going on here? Yeah, I mean, apparently I am being paid. Uh, I've not seen any money yet, which is quite unfortunate. I didn't hide the fact that I worked with the ABA to educate people on the safety of a spa team. I literally put paid partnership. I didn't hide the fact that I worked with the ABA. I didn't hide the fact that I worked with the ABA. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, so this guy's at it again, our good friend, Dr. Ids, who I said in a statement that he was being paid by the American Beverage Association for doing clips on aspartame to say that they're safe and may even have benefits. And here he is saying, yes, he does take money from the American Beverage Association. So I guess, I guess we're done here. Um, uh, so what is the problem exactly? You admitted to exactly what I said you did, even though previously you claimed that you don't take any money from the beverage industry, which of course is a lie, and which is why you were warned by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, that this was actually illegal. You have to disclose when you're being paid by an industry to make advertisements for them. Now you claim that you put a pay promotion on there, but was this before or after you got that warning from the FTC? I don't know, but the FTC says quite clearly that you were being paid and we're not disclosing it. So I'll leave it up to you and them. Either way, all I was saying was that he was being paid by the processed food industry to defend aspartame, which had recently been classified as a carcinogen by the WHO. Then he goes on to some semantic tirade about how I said that he said that this was healthy or good for you. And he said, well, no, I never said that. I said that it was safe and it could help you lose weight and that there could be other advantages in these studies that were shown. And I'm sorry, did we change the definition of good for you then? Something that's safe and maybe provides a benefit. Kind of sounds like something that would be good for you, right? So everything that I've said in that clip, he confirmed in his video. And then he goes on a tirade and ad hominem attacks red herrings and appeals to authority to try to say that he is discrediting me even though he justified every single thing I said in that clip. Okay, so let's move on to the personal attacks on me, which is always a sign of a bad argument if you have to attack the person individually with ad hominems or red herrings to try to distract from the situation. And the situation is you're a paid shill for the American Beverage Association and probably many other associations as well. He makes it very clear that I do have a medical degree. He never disputes that. He never claims I'm not a doctor or not a practicing doctor. He says that very clearly that I do have a medical degree from the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. He just thinks that I should use different letters to denote the fact that I have a medical degree. Well, he's welcome to his opinion, but that's still just semantics. He's saying that I should use different letters to say that I have the degree that I have, that he admits that I have. So where is the falsification of credentials? I'm saying that I have a medical degree. I have a postgraduate medical degree from the Royal College of Surgeons. Is that, is that being disputed? No, he said that I do have a medical degree from the Royal College of Surgeons. He just thinks I should use different letters to say that I have a medical degree from the Royal College of Surgeons. So really, what the hell are we even talking about here? So for the record, I have a postgraduate degree in medicine from the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. I have an undergraduate degree and bachelor's of science in molecular and cellular biology. I'm a registered physician with a currently active medical license and currently practicing physician in Australia and people are welcome to look that up. So saying that I falsify my credentials is slander. Then he goes on to say that I'm not allowed to talk about nutrition even though I'm a medical doctor and I treat people with medical conditions with nutrition and have amazing results. This is an appeal to authority. Yet another of his logical fallacies that he likes to throw around. So he thinks that just because you have a degree in nutrition means that you get to talk about it as nutrition. And if you don't have a degree in nutrition, you're not allowed to talk about nutrition. Of course, that's nonsense. People can study nutrition. People can be, even be a researcher in nutrition. The only thing you have to do to become a researcher in a certain field is to do research and to study a, uh, an area very closely. Just look at the definition 
for the word research and then draw your own conclusions. I have a degree in molecular and cellular biology, a degree in medicine, I've taken nutrition classes, and I've spent years independently studying the research and literature on nutrition and its effects on the human body and condition. So yes, I have researched nutrition thoroughly. I'm in fact writing a book on the subject and doing research for that book, thereby making me a nutritional researcher because I do research into nutrition. Then he tries to discredit me by saying that I take advertisements from people and have affiliate codes, like pretty much everybody else on the internet. Um, I've never hidden that. I have it posted on my page that certain people sponsor my podcast and I have affiliate codes for things. I am extremely selective on who I pick. I only take people that go along with my message of being healthy and eating optimally and I have de declined the vast majority of sponsorships and ad deals that I didn't think would uh, go well with my message and something that I didn't support. So these are all generally smaller family owned operations and they're all things that I use and things that I would support. I absolutely do not take money from anybody who gets to say anything about the content that I make. I don't take any money from anybody that I think is putting something forward that is harmful. But then really, this is very hypocritical yet again because IDS has a paid online program called his school. I don't know what you're gonna learn there to be more pretentious than he is maybe. And he sells that, he sells his book, he is an admitted shill for the processed food industry, such as the American Beverage Association, which makes soft drinks and all these other sorts of disgusting things. And he also has a weight loss program and that is replete with discount codes, that which again, probably gonna get some affiliate money off of that. So this is the pot calling the kettle black, He's a complete and utter hypocrite. But well, why are we surprised by this? This is the same guy who makes a habit of lying on the internet, such as making the comment that I said that there were no randomized control trials that showed any benefit to fiber and he threw 100 of them at me and I just ran away, didn't have any response, which is complete and utter garbage. That conversation did not happen. He brought up the idea that fiber was beneficial and he sent me a video that he did on that and I replied with page after page after page after page of responses which were seen by him and yet he never responded. That was over a year ago and he's actually the one who ran off and had no response. He's also tried to make other videos about me which I've thoroughly responded to and absolutely crushed because he has absolutely no substance. All he does is try to talk trash, ad hominem, red herring, appeal to authority. That's all he has. He has, and, and then semantics. If you, can, if you can only argue semantics, then you don't have anything to argue. So back to the personal attacks. He thinks he's clever because he says that I'm not in an official training program for neurosurgery, which is something that I've said repeatedly online. I've made it very clear that until I get permanent residency in Australia, I can't even apply for the official training program. So even though I have been working as a neurosurgical registrar for the past few years, since 2020, none of that has actually officially counted towards my completion of training. Something that I have said repeatedly online in my videos, which just goes to show you how terrible it is research skills are because he can't even look up videos that I've said publicly. So the only, the best that he could get on me was something that I've openly said publicly multiple times on various occasions. Wow, man, really impressive stuff. By the end of the day, it doesn't matter what this idiot is saying. What matters are the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that are getting better and reversing so-called irreversible diseases and conditions by following my advice and following a carnivore diet. I have hundreds of patients who are all improving dramatically both from their symptoms and their blood tests and their objective measures such as MRI, et cetera, depending on the case and the, and the condition. And so who cares what your opinion is? Who cares if you think that this isn't a good way of eating? Who cares 
what your degree is. Who cares what my degree is? What matters are results. What matters are what's happening to real people in the real world. You're a paid shill and a stooge for the processed food companies. You've admitted this yourself. So who cares what you say with all your poorly designed cherry pick studies, most of which were paid for by your big food overlords. You're a joke and a fraud and no amount of ad hominems, red herrings and appeals to authority will ever change that. Because of your slander and blatant misrepresentation of the facts, your little troll army is going around saying that I don't have a medical degree at all, that I'm not actually a doctor. But even though you've said clearly that I do have a medical degree, you just didn't communicate this properly enough for your troll army to actually get a clue, I don't see you out there correcting the record, which just shows your lack of integrity on top of everything else. But who are you really kidding? Did we think you had any integrity after all of this? No, we definitely did not because you don't. So keep being a troll if you want and keep just talking trash about everyone else instead of doing something productive in your own life and keep sending people over my way because you know what? All you're doing is driving up my algorithm. All you're doing is making my post more popular and driving them out to more and more people. So please keep it up all day. I really couldn't care less. But if you're gonna keep doing this, at least get your facts straight and stop arguing semantics like a loser. Pick something of substance and have an actual debate like an adult instead of a child who's throwing a tantrum because he got called out for doing what you're doing. I didn't hide the fact that I worked with the ABA to educate people on the safety of aspartame. If you don't like the fact that people say that you're taking money from the food and beverage companies, then don't take money from the food and beverage companies. It's that simple. At least now that you've openly admitted on the record that you're paid shill for the food and beverage companies. Hopefully in the future, you're not gonna be able to get away with lying about it, like you did here. Class dismissed, ids.